Trapped amid the woods with guile, they've led her bound in fetters vile to death, a deadlier sorceress than any born for Earth's distress. Since first the winner of the fleece bore home the Colchian witch to Greece, seven months with snare and gin they've sought the maid or wise within the forest's labyrinthine shade. The lonely woodman, half afraid, far off her ragged form has seen, sauntering down the alleys green, or couched in godless prayer alone at eve before a druid stone. But now the bitter chase is won, the quarry's caught, her magic's done. The bishops brought her strongest spell to knot with candle, book, and bell. With holy water splashed upon her, she goes to burning and dishonor, too deeply damned to feel her shame, for though beneath her hair of flame her thoughtful head be lowly bowed, it droops for meditation proud, impenitent, and pondering yet things no memory can forget. Starry wonders she has seen, brooding in the wildwood green with holiness. For who can say what strange crew she loved to play what demons or what gods of old, deep mysteries unto her hath told, at dead of night, in worship bent, at ruined shrines magnificent, or how the quivering will she sent alone into the great alone, where all is loved and all is known, who now lifts up her maiden eyes and looks around with soft surprise upon the noisy crowded square, the city oafs that nod and stare, the bishop's court that gathers there, the faggots and the blackened stake where sinners die for justice sake. Now she is set upon the pile, the mob grows still a little while, till lo, before the eager, eager folk up curls a thin blue line of smoke. Alas, the full-fed burghers cry, that evil loveliness must die. Goblin Feet by J.R.R. R. Tolkien I am off down the road where the fairy lanterns glowed and the little pretty flitter mice are flying. A slender band of grey, it runs creepily away and the hedges and the grasses are a sighing. The air is full of wings and of blundery beetle things that warm you with their worrying and their humming. Oh, I hear the tiny horns of enchanted leprechauns and the padded feet of many gnomes a-coming. Oh, the lights, oh, the gleams, oh, the twinkling sounds, oh, the rustle of their noiseless little robes, oh, the echo of their feet, of their happy little feet, oh, the swinging lamps in the starlit globes, I must follow in their train down the crooked fairy lane where the coney rabbits long ago have gone and where silvery they sing in a moving moonlit ring all a twinkle with the jewels they have on. They are fading round the turn where the glowworms palely burn and the echo of their padded feet is dying. Oh, it's knocking at my heart let me go, let me start, for the little magic hours are all a-flying. Oh, the warmth, oh, the hum, oh, the colors in the dark, oh, the gauzy wings of golden honey flying, oh, the music of their feet, of 
those dancing goblin feet. Oh, the magic. Oh, the sorrow when it dies.